Welcome to my channel or welcome back. Um, I am doing an exciting um, video today. Uh, I am doing my intro for my 12 pans of Christmas. Um, I'm so mad at myself because I literally just started filming this. I was halfway through and I realized that I wasn't wearing mascara. <laughs> just shows you like the epitome of how busy my life has been lately. So busy that I couldn't bother to put mascara on. I, I don't know. I'm so mad. I was like almost done. And then I was like, what am I missing? Oh, mascara, kind of important. No wonder my eyes look strange. So anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and refilm this and get this going. So if you see stains on my hands, it's cause I've already filmed that part. So let's go ahead and get into it. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and start with my fragrance that I'm adding in this project pan. Um, it is my Layers by Scentsy Luna Scent body spray. Um, I found this a while ago in my fragrance area and it had like the plastic on it and everything. Um, and I've just had no motivation to go through and finish these. So I'm going to go ahead and add this guy in so I can go through it and hopefully finish it by Christmas. Um, I kind of just want to go through all my fragrances and do that. Um, so yeah, we're going to try and finish this guy. <laughs> the next thing that I am adding in similarly to last project is going to be for my modern renaissance palette. Um, I have three shades in here that I am wanting to hit pan on. Um, it is Love Letter, which I'm actually wearing in my crease today, um, Antique Bronze, and uh, Red Ochre. Yeah, Red Ochre. Um, I have a pretty sizable dip-ish in Love Letter and then a little tiny baby dip in Antique Bronze and Red Ochre. Um, I have a few shades that I'll show you that I'm going to be using with in conjunction with these. Um, with Red Ochre, I'm probably going to use a little bit of these to mix in and use up this month and maybe some warm taupe. Um, Antique Bronze can pretty much go with either one. That's kind of why I picked it. Um, and then on the side, I'm going to have my two ColourPop Supernova shades from the, uh, this one in From the Valley, and then this one in Over Again. I'm going to add these and kind of work through them as we go with my shades from my Modern Renaissance palette. Um, I'm also going to add in these three singles. This is like a Winky, winky Luxe. Um, it's supposed to be like a highlighter, but I don't really like it as a highlighter, but it is in the shade Charm. It's this like really pink icy white um, that I can add like in my inner corner and kind of work through some of my other stuff um, and then I have my L'Oreal Infallible um, Shadow and Amber Rush that we have a pan on it's so exciting you've probably already seen that maybe um, but I'm gonna add this one in as well and then I'm also going to be adding in my Super Shock Shadow from Colourpop in Partridge this guy's very old. He's still kicking. We need to get rid of him. He's getting dry. We need to just keep going. So I'm going to add him in, hopefully get some more use, use out of him. Sorry, that was my cat. <laughs> and then the quad that I'm going to add in as well. I know this seems really extra, but I am trying to um, just, you know, add some extra shades in. Um, I have my the Greatest Gift by Sydney Grace. This one is like a mixture of a blush and a little bit of uh, Makeup Geeks Cupcake. And then we have um, Macaroon um, by ABH. And then we have Twisted Sift Sifter. I keep saying Sifter. Twisted Shifter by uh, Sydney Grace Cosmetics. So I'm going to add these in with my modern renaissance palette and hopefully get some really good use um, out of all of these shades i'm taking pictures of everything today so for the next update we can kind of have some comparisons for everything all right and then also to add with that um, i'm going to add in my stila glitter and glow in smoky storm um, i learned my lesson from my summer project pan that i did um, where I was trying to show visual progress 
and that just didn't work out. So now I think I'm just going to do uses. Um, I feel like that will help me keep me motivated to hit goal and I feel like hitting goal will be a lot easier for me. Um, I don't really like glitters I found out. Um, they're kind of irritating to my eyes after a while um, if I do them in a certain way. So I'm just going to use this one until it's gone and then I won't buy any more. But uh, 15 times is going to be my goal. So I have to use this one 15 times in these next two months and hopefully I can hit that goal. Hopefully that will be attainable enough for me. Um, the next three shades or the next three items I have in the project are lipsticks and that's why I have these. Um, I learned my lesson from the last project pan and I am going to do uses instead of visual progress because I feel like it's just a little bit easier for me to do that way and it keeps me motivated. Um, the first one, I'm gonna go ahead and put a picture up of it next to its hash marks, is Revlon's Wine With Everything. I wanna use this one 10 times. Um, I really like this lipstick. I just haven't gotten a lot of use out of it. Um, it's one of my oldest lipsticks, so I would like to get more use out of it. So yeah, hopefully we can get this done. The next one I'm wearing right now, and I'm actually I filming this a little bit later than the first of November, and I've already used it twice. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a picture up of Revlon's Mauve Night. Um, I'm wearing this one on my lips, so you can see it on the lips and on a swatch. Um, I really like this lipstick, and I feel like this one will be pretty easy for me to use up later on in the year, and hopefully get it used up because. These are my oldest lipsticks and I really just need to bite the bullet and like just go through them because it's ridiculous how long I've had them. So anyway, <laughs> the last lipstick I'm adding to this um, project is going to be my Maybelline Divine Wine lipstick and I'm going to go ahead and put a picture up of it with its hash marks. Um, this one is a beautiful shade and I am almost done with it. Thank goodness. Um, hopefully I can get, again, same with the other ones, hopefully I can get my good use out of it and finish it up um, at least before summer or spring of next year. So hopefully, I don't know. But yeah, those are the lipsticks that I'm adding in. All of these are going to be 10 uses. That's gonna be my goal. Um, I, I learned that I only use lipstick during the weekdays, not the weekends for the most part, unless I have something crazy going on which like never happens so <laughs> I am just gonna do uses and not visual goals so hopefully I can hit my goals on those wish me luck I'm still gonna take like a visual look at how much I'm using per use so that way you can kind of get your fix with both if you're interested but I'm gonna just go with my goals as times used and then the last four products I have, um, I'm gonna go ahead and just mention this one briefly. It's my Kiss Lashes in 11. I have three of them, um, and usually I only use lashes like three or four times, um, but I would like to use these up completely. I've had these in my collection for a little bit. Um, I've already used them once on Halloween, um, this pair right here, so that was fun. Um, but for the most part, um, I just wanna kinda get rid of some lashes in my collection so I'm going to try and get these used up ideally I usually use them until they either break or um, they just get too nasty um, so yeah anyway lashes adding these in as well the very last items um, I'm gonna go ahead and put pictures of them next to their hash marks these are also going to go by uses because I just feel like that's a lot easier for me to attain um, and being held accountable for how many times I'm using it. So yeah, anyway, first one is my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk. Um, it's going to be kind of washed out because it's white, but I'm wearing it today underneath uh, some of my eyeshadow. Um, this one I would like to use 30 times. I feel like with 30 times, um, that's pretty reasonable for the amount of eyeshadow that I wear um, and I'm probably going to use it every day underneath all of my eyeshadows just because I have hooded lids so usually bases or glitter glues really help shades stick to my lids 
So yeah, I'm adding this one in 30 times. We're gonna do it, we're gonna do it. The next one is my Ciate London. It, it's like a, it's called Wonder Wand uh, Gel Eyeliner. Um, it is a pencil eyeliner. I wanna use this one 30 times. I'll go ahead and put a picture up of it next to its hash marks. Um, I really don't like this color that much. It's like a weird gray. Um, let me see if I can do it. It's like a gray black. It doesn't feel like a, like a black black. So this one I'll probably just wear on my lower lash line to get some use out of it. It's not my favorite. So I'm <laughs> just trying to begrudgingly like use it up. Since I'm on my no buy, I don't really want to go out and buy a new one when I don't have to. I'll just use this one. And even if I have to use it as an eye base, um, I'll probably do that as well. Uh, I don't know. We're just trying to get more use out of this guy. The last item I have on my list is my LA Girl Lip Liner in Wine. Um, I'll go ahead and put a picture of it next to its hash marks. Um, I really like this uh, lip liner. I want to use it 15 times. That's my goal. Um, it's going to go really well with my it's gonna go really well with my divine wine um lipstick and i can add it in with my other lipsticks as well it's getting really dry so for that reason i want to go ahead and use it up while it's still good um after that i'll kind of reevaluate and see if it's gotten worse or if it's staying the same ideally i would like to use it up but if it's drying out i don't want to do that to my lips it's really torturous so yeah, 15 times, and we'll see how that goes. So anyway, um, yeah, anyway, um, I forgot to mention in the intro that this was started by Alex. I'll go ahead and put her video down in the description box below. Um, I love these project pans. I love that she's um, inviting us into to do this project with her. It's really fun. I'm so sorry that I filmed this so late. Um, it's been chaos. I just say this in every video, but my life is just chaos. So for some reason, Friday just wasn't a great time for me to film a video or even Halloween night, obviously. So it's just been, it's just been a thing. It's just, it's just a thing in my life. But, uh, yeah, I really hope that you join in. If you're doing this project as well, comment down below, um, and tell me because I love to follow other project panners. Um, I've been watching Project Pans for literally years now, and they're just so fun for me, and they're so motivating. So, yeah, let me know if you're doing it on YouTube or Instagram. Um, and, yeah, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate um, y'all watching my video. Um, I also wanted to tell y'all that I'm linking my social media down below if you want to follow me. Um, I'm still not fully immersed into the whole, like, making a separate account for my YouTube thing just yet. Um, right now it's kind of mixed in with my personal life, which I really, I don't care. I don't post anything super crazy intimate on my Instagram or Twitter anyways, but <laughs> that's neither here nor there. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Um, let me know down below if y'all are doing something. I would like to follow your projects as well. Um, and until next time, Bye.